All the editing that you will see was done in Final Cut Pro, but these are standard operations that will pretty much work the same in any video editing program. There are three basic types of transitions. Cuts, dissolves, and advanced effects like wipes and other digital transition effects. The most common transition is the cut, in which one shot changes instantly to the next, like this. Most transitions that you see on television and in the movies are cuts. The next most common transition is the dissolve or crossfade, where one shot gradually fades into the next. Sometimes the fade goes briefly to black before it fades to the next frame, as happens here. Advanced transitions include wipes and digital effects, where shots whiz by or do complex changes while leading into the shot, like this. Transitions can be a lot of fun, but overusing them is a common mistake made by beginning editors. In most professional productions, almost all transitions are simple cuts or dissolves. Too many animated transitions like spirals, newspaper turns, and exploded zooms are distracting and impact the flow of the video. Although it's important to choose an appropriate type of transition, the real issue is how well the two shots fit together. Ask yourself, do the shots fit comfortably together? Does the transition make sense or is it confusing? Does the transition progress the story? B-roll is supplemental footage that helps tell the story and adds meaning to a sequence of shots. Here's an example of ZZ Top's Billy Gibbons talking about his famous Pearly Gates Les Paul. Pearly Gates uh, travels on occasion. Um, it's one of those special instruments that, that uh, gets extra special treatment. It's a lot more interesting if we switch to a close-up shot of Pearly so we can see what he's talking about rather than maintaining a talking headshot of Billy. Pearly Gates travels on occasion. It's one of those special instruments that gets extra special treatment. B-roll provides a means to cover up audio and visual edits by using the cutaway technique. Here's the original interview again. Pearly Gates uh, travels on occasion. Um, it's one of those special instruments that, that uh, gets extra special treatment. Now here's the interview with the dialogue tightened up. Pearly Gates travels on occasion. It's one of those special instruments that gets extra special treatment. Notice that the dialogue suddenly sounds better, but we're left with a picture that's full of jump cuts, which look pretty bad and unprofessional. If you plug in a graphic or some B-roll of Pearly Gates over the edits, you maintain the nice smooth dialogue and eliminate the jump cuts. Pearly Gates travels on occasion. It's one of those special instruments that gets extra special treatment. Don't treat your B-roll as some secondary footage that's not pertinent to the story. Not only can it save some of your edits, but the more B-roll you use, the more interesting your cut will become. 